As the investigation into the Paris attacks continues, the name of one neighborhood of the Belgian capital comes up again and again, Molenbeek. It's a working class neighborhood, just 10 minutes drive from the center of Brussels, separated from the rest of the city by this industrial canal. This is a vibrant, multicultural immigrant community where you hear people speaking Arabic as often as you hear French. It has 40% youth unemployment, which contributes to the alienation that some here feel from the rest of Belgian society. And this neighborhood is struggling, Belgian officials say, with organized crime. Uh, false papers, false passports, uh, weapon trade, um, are flourishing in uh, certain uh, suburbs of Brussels, like in Molenbeek, and we absolutely uh, have to counter these uh, things uh, with the help of uh, local services, but also with uh, the help of criminal justice. Molenbeek also has the dubious distinction of being a major recruiting ground for violent jihadi militants. This is the home of the family of Saleh Abdul Salam, arguably one of the most wanted men in Europe right now. France and Belgium put out an arrest warrant for him, warning the public he is dangerous. Authorities say his older brother, Ibrahim, is one of the suicide bombers from Paris last Friday. Belgian police briefly detained and released a third brother, Mohammed, who has defended his family. You also need to understand that in spite of the tragedy, my parents are in shock. We do not realize yet what has happened. My family and I are affected by what happened. We found out by TV, just like many of you. We did not think for a moment that one of our brothers was related to these attacks. Just five minutes walk from the house of the Abdul Salam family is the street where the family of Abdul Hamid Abaoud once lived. He is the Belgian member of ISIS, who is the suspected mastermind behind the Paris attacks. He's been linked to two other Molenbeek residents who were part of a deadly shootout with Belgian police in the town of Verviers last January, and two other men who attacked a Jewish museum in Brussels last year and a train to France last August are also believed to have lived in this neighborhood. A series of disturbing red flags that have prompted Belgium's interior minister to promise to personally take charge of resolving the complicated problems in this neighborhood. Ivan Watson, CNN, Brussels.